Welcome to this week's episode. Uh, we are quite literally going to pop the top off this caravan. Yeah, so just popped up, whole thing's coming down, we're changing the lifters, changing the canvas. Canvas. Yep. We're going to scrape all the silicon out of the roof, repaint the roof, reseal the roof. Solar panels. Fit the solar panels. New roof lining. Yeah, strip all that Lights. Out. Right. It's all happening and we are excited because I feel like this is kind of seeing a bit of a end in sight to everything we're doing. So, yeah. good times ahead. I've kind of been doing everything else I can and now this is the next job to do. <laughs> so, kind of, after just saying everything we just had to do, I'm like, oh, there's a bit on. It's a long to-do list. Yeah, but we'll get it done. Might as well start now. To get this canvas out, well, we're going to take the canvas out first. It's kind of pushed in here and then pushed in from the inside in here and then these screws are screwed into the rubber. Yeah, but it's actually really tight at the moment so I can't do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some ratchet straps on here and pull the pop top down so we've got slack in the roof, uh, in the canvas. <laughs> Let there be light. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yay. Another good reason to put these straps on is because once you pull the canvas out, oh. the roof will go boing. Really? <laughs> boing. Boing. We don't want boing. No. Did you come up with that idea yourself or someone told you? Oh, I saw someone else do it. Oh, there you go. Thanks, someone else, whoever you were. In the old canvas, we've got all these little, I don't know what you call them. I don't know if they're like stays or folders, but so when the pop top goes up and down, I think they just like make canvas fold inwards, but the new canvas doesn't come with these. So make sure you pull them all out. They just live in these little pockets next to the windows and they'll just slide straight out of there. So I'm just taking these uh, lifters off now. We've got all new lifters, so got to get rid of these old ones and it looks like they're just like pop riveted, pop riveted, did? Into there and here. And then these ones are like pop riveted through the roof. So I'm going to go around and drill all the roof ones out and the straps will still just hold it where it is because these springs are trying to always open or get taller. So yeah, I'll drill all the tops out and then I'll go around and drill the bottoms out. off today i'm just going to clean the roof up scrape all the silicon out and get it prepped for some paint yay, he said. yay i might flip the roof over as well and then strip all the ceiling out too washing all of the dirt i thought that that was gray but that's just how much dirt was on it from over the years it's a good little rig that you got there it's a little dodge up car wash dodger
morning. Day two on the uh, silicon scraping. It's a long and boring process, I guess, but it's not hard work. So I'm just going around with the turps now and just like scrubbing all these edges, even though it looks like there's no silicon there. Once you run over it with the turps, you'll see this bit of residue section will become visible. And you've got to get that off. We don't want anything left on here. With the edge of this like roof sheeting, I've just dug out as much as I can out of these because I really want to pack a fill with the new silicon. I was contemplating whether I drill all these out and reseal under there, but I should be able to get a seal without having to do that. It's time to strip all the sealing out, mainly because it's like water damage here, as you can see. I'm not going to need these anymore, I'm getting rid of these lights, so I'm just going to replace all the panels. I also need to get in there to run wires. I'm going to measure the things that I'm going to put back on there because I don't want to be trying to guess that later. So I'm just going to measure the uh, lockdown hooks, where the handles were, like the pull down handles. That's pretty much all I need. Those are the things that have to go in the same slot. Welcome to a new day. Yeah, time to get these inner panels, inside panels, yeah. The inside ceiling panels. panels on. Yeah. Ceiling panels. We're just pretty much replacing again with five. We're going to paint this white, but we're just discussing where we're going to put down lights. We decided on two down lights, which I'm hoping is enough. We do have four that came in the pack. But yeah, we're just like trying to even it out with two. So we think it's probably like roughly here. It's here. So that will kind of be, I think our bed comes to about like there. So it should be enough over the bed area and like in the bedroom, I don't really care if it's not super bright light anyway. I say bedroom, but it's all one space. Just make sure the light's mainly in the centre because that's where like the kitchen and lounge is. It's a small space. I think two lights will be bright enough. Yeah, um, we're not very light people. We're like No, I think though I learnt from the bar. We were the same with that. We're like, we don't really want light. But then I feel like when you do need a bright light, it's nice having one. That's why I'm still skeptical here and wonder if we should do three, but, and otherwise we're gonna have little lamps and stuff around, but I don't know. So you definitely just think two. Yep. So these panels, like they slot up in this gap at the back there. This one's for the canvas. And then the one at the back is for the panel. So I'm just gonna measure outside to outside of these two channels and then just take maybe five mil off and then cut them to that measurement. Now that times three. So I'm just going to work out the, what sizes are going to come with those. Uh, the original layout is one I'm going to have to follow down the floor anyway because of where the rails are. So I'm going to, it's going to be full sheet here, full sheet there, and then just the infill here and here. <laughs> So I've given these one coat of undercoat on either side. 
because it was just a pine board. I wanted to coat both sides. And then this has one coat of our white knight finish, the same that we did all through the van. So yeah, now that I've got those on there, I'm gonna fiddle the panels. I've run my 12 volt for the lights. I'm just gonna fiddle these panels now and um, give it another coat of paint. reason you know knowing my luck i had a cable running from here down to here this one's still there and then the cable continued from here to this hole but when i drilled this hole the cable got caught up in my drill and then just ripped all the way down to here that sucks i have to somehow get a cable from there to there now so that's tomorrow's problem and now i'm just going to do the last coat of paint on the ceiling it's getting dark but it'll give the paint all night to dry while we're sleeping the paint will be drying So we got the roof on the source stools. Because we've um, already finished the ceiling, we chuck the mattress on the source stools to protect the ceiling. Now I'm just gonna go tape around all the bottom. So I've already given the roof light really good sand. So now it just needs a wipe down. It'll be nice and clean and ready for a coat. Today I'm going to seal up this rooftop, so what I'm going to do is tape up these joints here. Good story. Yeah, so I'll tape up all these joints across the roof and I'll seal these in first and then I'll go around and do the whole perimeter. Using roof and gutter, I mean it's what they use to seal roofs. I try to do a lot of like searching on what to use. I just rang a caravan repairer and said what do you use to seal the roof. And he said, Ruth and got a silicon. What I do here is I just load up with silicon over the join and then I'll just make sure there's no gap so I'll push the sides down onto the tape and then I'll spray it with spray and wipe, uh, smooth it over, peel the tape off and then smooth the edges down onto the roof and I'm no expert but this is what I've ended up with. Definitely doesn't look flash but it should be sealed. So in this, this isn't spray and white, it was just an empty bottle and I just filled it with uh, dish soap and water. So 
bit of artwork now, but I ran out of silicon. It's taken me like five tubes all up already to do one, two, three, four joins over the top, and then from that corner all the way around to this corner. Also, I found the best way to do it is to put the silicon on, spray my fingers with the soap, and then just work the edges down. Just gives you a nicer thing instead of spraying over the top and then wiping it. Time to get these solar panels mounted. So they come with these brackets and you just mount them on here and then they will sit like that and then I'm just going to pop rivet through these holes with some sealed pop rivets. I've got three solar panels and I'm going to mount them from down the back this way and then there'll be enough room if we need to add another one later on. Where I'm mounting these solar panels is always going to be on the high ridge, is where you want your penetrations. It's because uh, there's going to be a lot of water running through here. Yeah, so it might mean that the solar panels are not 100% evenly spaced, but it just means that everything will be on the high ridge. aluminium sealed rivets just put them into the bracket into the root So now what I'll do is I'll go around and seal the top of all these rivets. Even though they're sealed rivets, I'm just going to put some silicon on the top of them anyway. Alright, so I'm just going to attach the new lifters to the pop top. I don't know if this is the right way to do it, so I guess at the end of fitting it I can say don't do it this way if it doesn't work very well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is pop rivet all of these onto the existing holes of the old lifters. I can seal all the pop rivets up on top. So yeah, we got these lifters from Outback Equipment. I'll put them in the uh, description. They look a bit more beefier. These are like solid flat bars, whereas on the old ones, they were like a tube and they were squished at the ends, squished in the middle for that uh, pivoting bolt. So these ones look like they will last a lot longer. So with these lifters as well, they're fixed at one end, the other end it'll move. You wanna make sure you remember when you take your other lifters off, which way they went. I didn't, I don't remember, but I should have taken a photo or something like that. I've probably got a photo somewhere. But yeah, so fixed at one end. So when I do the two end ones, so I'll have one mounted there, the fixed ends on this side. When I mount it on the other side, I want to go like that. So the fixed end is still on the same side. If you're going to go like that, your center point's going to pivot on the pop top. And when your pop top goes up, it's just going to twist it. And then with these ones, I'm going to have the fixed ends on the outside of the pop tops. So at the furthest point, this one will be that way, that one will be that way. Hopefully that's the right. We're going to find out today if that's the right way to do it.
the way I'm doing it is working quite well. Uh, this is so I've got the two lifters on this side, and I just cut the tape, pop a them in, and I still have all the other ones to go. So I'm going to shoot around and do all that now. Oh, oh. oh. did you see that? That's abuse. It's caught on camera. All right. So now that the roof is on, the lifters are attached. We're going to do the canvas. So. I feel like there's only one person that everyone pretty much uses for the pop top canvas and it is a lovely lady down in Victoria. I can't remember her name. I'm so sorry about that. Memory of goldfish. But her company is called Bags and Swags. So she will custom make your pop top canvas. You just give her the measurements or you take photos firstly and depending on how your canvas goes in, she will give you info on how to measure it correctly for her. Um, and then yeah, she literally like, I think I gave her the measurements and by the end of the next day, this was in the post on the way. So she is incredible. Um, and I'm pretty sure the pricing does go up as time goes on, but I'm pretty sure we paid 575 and that was including postage. So super quick process, stoked with it, excited to put it in. It's going to look a lot better than what we had before with our old moldy canvas all right so let's do it it's getting late it's five o'clock so we're working late tonight we just want to get this done i think we're excited so yeah hopefully it's an easy job <laughs> i hope so so we do have tips it comes with the uh canvas tip one is do the top first so to put Alrighty. this in there's like a there's also like this rubber bit here and in here there's a channel and you just click the rubber into the channel and then that's all that holds it to. Really? I thought something got screwed up into it. Oh yeah. Pop riveted or? So in the top, once you pushed it in there, you pop the top pop. Pop! Pop, <laughs> pop the top top. Pop the top pop. Up once you've fitted it and pop then it. you can screw it in. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna push the rubber in while it's sitting down here. And then we'll yeah, cause these, pop the top. Um, spring things lifters so i've never know what i'm saying they're known to just go like wee and then yeah. they're up too high and there's nothing it's you need heaps of weight to get them back down i mean we've got the solar panels on the top so it might not be that hard but anyway i'm rambling so let's get into it <laughs> It's pretty like on the long runs it's easy as you just push the rubber along there and then when you get to the corners you're going to try and get you know the, i just realized to finish this side and then start the other side yeah why do we have a random mesh thing here yeah. i think we've put it on the other way what? why no no but there's, well that's just where the kitchen thing was oh, it doesn't matter. there isn't oh i'm just saying there's not one on the other side no, Okay. Is it a random mission? Must just be a thing that has to go there. A random vent. Yeah, I think it's meant to be for above the kitchen. Uh, I'm not taking the back nah. out. <laughs> so it is the next day. It was actually quite dark when I was putting the rest of this pop top in and I didn't want to stop because I got excited, but I couldn't film anything because it was dark. So the canvas to put it in, uh, there's channels, I think I showed you yesterday, and then there's this rubber groove and then that just pushes into the, into the channel. And then up here, so you've got same thing, the channel, but you push it in from the inside and then you put some screws in it. So better go along and finish screwing all these off and that all holds it in. So super happy with that. And um, yeah, it feels very homely inside now. I'll, go, I'll show you inside. Ta-da. Nice, crisp, white canvas. And all the zips work. I mean, it's all brand new, so everything's going to work, but yeah, it's just good having zips at work when you didn't have zips at work. It's 
So here's our solar panels and this is the feed coming off there. So I'll drill a hole through there. It'll line up with all the other stuff. And then I'll put an Anderson plug on the end of here. And that'll be, so like the cables will run down there, Anderson plug there. I can always unplug that if the top needs to come back off. All right, I'm just gonna show you how to seal up a like roof penetration like this one. So I just buy these little, um, they're just junction boxes, I guess, from Bunnings. You find them in the Sparky section. Um, so yeah, what I do is I pull, I pull the cables through here and then I will silicon all under there and fix this down to the roof. And then I will build silicon up all over this hole here. And that will seal that hole penetration. That'll run out there, and then the cables will get inside. Mm -hmm. Is that done and sorted there is no water getting in there